Miles Morales. They might just call me Chalice if I got to catch them all. I volunteer to take the challenge. So I Gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. Your host, Red Chenny. Road tripping. I'm actually driving right now in B-127. Headed up to Universal City Walk. I'm actually headed to another cool place I like going to called Things from Another World. Um, I'm actually headed up because... Uh, as you guys know, those of you guys have been following my collection on quarter scale NECA figures. Um, that's actually where I actually bought that Michael Keaton Batman that had the snapping hip joint and all that. So anyway, I'm headed up there right now. Uh, they're going to make the situation right for me. So taking you along with me. Plus, I want you guys to check out the, the spot. It's a really, really dope spot uh, right there on Universal City Walk. So Ride with me. I'll check back in with you. Okay, so only a few hours later, and um, I'm just getting here to Universal City Walk, Universal Studios. So headed over to Things from Another World right now, and uh, I'm gonna get some footage inside the store so you guys can check it out. So let's do it. Miles Morales, they might just call me Chalice If I got to catch them all, I volunteer to take the challenge I got the plug and the orders I got the connect and count the kind of can get me the sort of joy I get my toys, toys, action figures B.B. Toys, B.A. action figures So yeah, I got the plug and the orders I got the connect and count the kind of can get me the sort of joy I get my toys, toys, action figures Nerd game, uh and this is where I get to take over on a smooth voiceover. <laughs> Just playing. Anyway, Universal City Walk and the stores have a lot of uh, copyright strike ready music playing in the background. So I've got to take over on the voiceover. Um, as you can see, we're walking in the store. Lovely, beautiful place to shop. Look at these hot toys, Batman. I mean, Spider Man is right there. Awesome. I love the display box they have them in. Plenty of Funko Pops, as you can see. Just like everywhere, everywhere's got a ton of Funko Pops. This uh, life-size Iron Man, just everything. I, I can't remember if NECA did that one, but I, very impressive. Uh, there's a life-size Boba Fett. There's also a life-size one-to-one scale NECA uh, Batman Arkham Knights figure in the window. I did not get that on uh, video for you guys, but it's very impressive. Got a chance to walk around this store and so much merchandise, so much space too. I mean, filled to the brim with all kinds of goodies. Plenty of hot toys, plenty of sideshows, captain statues, dope. And you've got these, I believe these are uh, the gallery select uh, figures of the game reverse Spider-Man, Miles Morales and Spider-Man right there. That Doctor Strange is amazing. This is dope. That what if Iron Monger? Oh, uh, um, not my Iron Monger. My bad. There's a uh, sideshow Superman. They had so many impressive pieces in there. And to be honest, the pricing wasn't crazy either. Um, most of the you know the prices on the figures were uh, retail. Uh, this store has a very mall feel to it. It can be a store in any mall with just super dope products. Look at all this McFarlane, DC Multiverse figures in there. The display cabinets were just mad impressive. Got Batman, Dark Knight Returns, Look at the King Shark, we got the Nightmare Superman, Nightmare Batman from the Justice League movie. We got Joker figure out about Heath Ledger. Looking very lifelike. Batman Begins, Batman right there. The dark side. More multiverse figures. Plenty in stock, plenty to choose from. 
I'm not mad at Todd McFarlane, man. He, he keeps his product coming. In. Can't wait for that Batwing and that Batmobile that's coming out for the Flash movie. With the seven inch scale. It's a comic book shop first and foremost, so they got plenty of graphic novels and and single issues of comic books. This is just a small little sample of the section that I was able to get. They got some uh, t-shirts on that back wall right there. It's that classic Batman t-shirt, that 89 Batman t-shirt. And this is what I came for, right? Well, the Heath Ledger I already picked up from Frank and Sons, but that 1989 quarter scale. Switched it out, version two for my version one. Thank you, Darcy, over here at Things From Another World. Really do appreciate it. Okay, so mission accomplished. I got the Batman Michael Keaton switched out. So I will be making sure to blow dry the joints before posing them, putting them back on by Batman Necker display back at the toy store. So anyway, it, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hop back in the car and head back. Um, I don't need to spend any money while I'm up here. Um, the main mission was accomplished. Again, getting that switched out. So, I'm done with that old one, the bad joints. Probably the worst figure I ever, ever unboxed, having all those issues, so. So, let's get back in. B-127, head back home. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I am back here at the toy store um, with my old new friend. So mission accomplished. I uh, was able to actually get my horribly defective Michael Keaton 1989 Batman from NECA Toys, the quarter scale one. I was able to get that one uh, switched out uh, at the same location I actually purchased it from uh, some time ago. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel and some of the videos I've been posting uh, where I do talk about my quarter scale collection. Love the quarter scale, love the price range of the NECA quarter scales. Um, but that one, 1989, Michael Keaton was the bane of my collection, the bane of my existence. Uh, it just had so many issues with the left hip uh, joint just snapping on me basically right out the box. Um, uh, the, actually the, the, the forearm, uh, swivel actually, uh, broke also too. Uh, I had to super glue that and I was willing to forgive that. I was just like, you know, it, it is what it is. The infamous Michael Keaton neck and quarter scale figure. And that is the, that's where I got it hot glued. I had to hot glue the lay back on. That was a suggestion from NECA themselves, customer service, quote unquote, customer service. Uh, they suggested that I just hot glue the leg back on. Find the pose I like, hot glue it back on. That's what you definitely want to do when you spend over $100 for a figure. And if you watch any of my older videos, I've complained about him plenty because I had him boxed, bought him brand new, had him boxed for about three years, opened him up and everything started breaking on him, including that left hip, that infamous ratchet joint just snapped on me as soon as I got him out the box. And also his forearm, where his wrist is, and that broke too, so I had to glue that. And that's exactly what customer service suggested I do, glue it. I know they put out a, another release of him. I did not jump on that because I had already worked so hard to glue this one. So but, anyway. uh, I mean, it just kept irking me over the years that all of that happened to one of my favorite characters, favorite figures uh, that I would want in my collection. Uh, so the good people, uh, shout out to uh, Darcy, the GM over at uh, uh, Things From Another World. Uh, she allowed me to come in well after the exchange uh return uh policy with the store and everything like that uh i told her about my experience with uh, neca telling me to basically hot glue find a pose that i wanted in they emailed me this i have this in writing and hot glue uh the uh uh the thigh back onto the hip joint 
um, and just find a pose and leave it there. Uh, that's just the worst customer service ever. So anyway, back here at the toy store, as you can see that little area up there with Michael Keaton, I mean, I'm sorry, not Michael Keaton, Adam West, Batman, the 1966 Batman and the Arkham Origins, that little blank spot is going to be reoccupied by uh, this figure right here. Great improvement on the, this version two is a great improvement on the version one. Um, I had been searching online to see if anybody had posted anything about, uh, they, they changed a few things on it. Um, the paint seems better. Uh, there's not as much glossy all over it. Uh, the cowl, the face sculpt, everything just seems a lot more uh, polished on this one, sharp on this one. Um, the cape is way better. The cape is an improvement. Um, and I know that that was an issue for a few people when they, when they reviewed the original release. Um, people were doing like upgrade capes for this, but this is a way better cape. Uh, th there's a couple noticeable things. I, I, I noticed immediately the articulation and I've been noticing that on a lot of the neck and quarter scale figures uh, as time has gone on uh, right out the box. The articulation is a little bit more trustworthy. Uh, if you go back to my older video of the quarter scale um, homecoming uh, Spider-Man, uh, you'll see that right out the packaging, uh, right out the box, it was scary. Like the the uh, ratchet joints on it were pretty scary, but this one seems a lot more comfortable. Uh, this just feels like a higher end figure altogether compared to the uh, previous one uh, that I had. So I just it was just a blessing to be able to. It's a two hour drive going up to Universal City Walk. Um, um, but it was worth it because I've been waiting for a while to finally rectify uh, that that situation with my last Michael Keaton quarter scale. So anyway, thanks for hanging out uh, with me here on Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. Once again, I've been your host, Reg Henney. Um, as always, be good to yourself, be good to others. Oh, show empathy, open your toys. You deserve it. Peace. Morales, they might just call me Chalice If I got to catch them all, I volunteer to take the challenge It's a change, order, I got the plug in the orders I got the connect, you count a kind of can get me the sort of joy I get my toys, noise, action figures BB, B8, action figures It's a change, order, I got the plug in the orders I got the connect, you count a kind of can get me the sort of joy I get my toys, noise, action figures No game, uh, bang, 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 bang Action figures Welcome to the Terra Drone. I used to call Castle Grace go home way before Macaulay Coke and Home Alone. Thundercat, a battle cat. Used to kick my battle raps. Scalping all the action figures. You deserve a slap for that. King of the exclusive.